When I was legislative director of Ohio Right to Life, I helped to regulate abortion. I worked to pass Ohio's parental consent law, the woman's right to know, fetal homicide, and the nation's first ban on partial birth abortion. When you regulate abortion, the Republican establishment accepts you. When you want to end abortion, they don't. When I ran for the Republican State Central Committee back in the 90s, my literature looked like this. It's a postcard from John Kasich that said, I join Governor George Voinovich and Senator Mike DeWine in asking you to vote for Janet Folger for Republican State Central Committee. But when you want to end abortion, you get called a liar, a pro-abort, a tax-evading Democrat. About the only thing Larry Alboff didn't accuse me of was being a part of the JFK assassination. I decided to run a week before the deadline because the Senate refused to pass the pro-life heartbeat bill, and nobody else was willing to challenge President Pro Tem Larry Alboff. I was polling even with him in at least two polls, so they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars against me. When you turned on the television, the radio, you heard things like this. She avoids Ohio tax law by keeping her corporation in Florida. Janet Folger Porter, what else is she hiding? While I founded Faith to Action Ministries 13 years ago in Florida, it wasn't to avoid Ohio taxes. Ministries don't pay taxes. The whole campaign was filled with lies just like that. Republicans partnered with the far left to spread even more lies. In fact, four of these mailings came from the Ohio Republican Party. A few on the Republican State Central Committee had the courage to speak up, but nothing was done because Chairman Matt Borges said that's how things have been done in the past. And people wonder why everyone's upset with the establishment Republican Party. I was called a lying pro-abort, but there's a way to find out what's really true. I'm still fighting for the heartbeat bill to protect every child whose heartbeat can be heard, and Larry Aboff, Keith Faber, and the Ohio Senate are still refusing to bring it to a vote. Larry ran as a pro-life champion, I say it's time for his actions to match his campaign literature. Call him at 614-466-7505. We are building an army of people who aren't satisfied with the Republican establishment who continue to block the most pro-life bill that's ever passed the Ohio House of Representatives. They may have spent a fortune to defeat me, but they won't have that much money to spend on each of the 10 seats that are up for grabs in the next election. And we're not waiting until a week before the deadline. We're looking for qualified candidates right now who are willing to stand against the onslaught for the unborn babies who are facing far worse. In Northwest Ohio, we need a qualified challenger to run against Cliff Height. In District 31, which includes Licking County, Jay Hottinger is up for election. And we need to find someone in District 17 who wants to end abortion more than Bob Peterson who, like all the others, refused to sign the discharge petition. But take a look at the open seats. There will be seven, count them, seven open seats. Do you live in one of these districts or know of a qualified candidate who would be willing to run? Now is the time to recruit and prepare. District 13, which includes Huron and Lorain counties. District 27, that's Wayne and part of Summit and Stark counties. District 29, which is most of Stark County. District 19, which is Delaware, Knox, and part of Franklin County. District 3, the northeast corner of Franklin County. District 5, including Miami and Preble counties and parts of Dark and Montgomery. And District 7, which includes Warren and parts of Butler and Hamilton counties. Sign up at f2a.org and join the army of those willing to vote in the primary election and do what it takes to bring the killing to an end. If they know nothing else, they know this, we're not going to stop until they bring the heartbeat bill to the floor for a vote and the killing to an end.